Welcome, my wonderful people. All through today, it has been in between Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of Labour Party, and the Rufai of Kaduna State, the governor, of course, and Aisha Yusuf. All in three has taken in the social media handles in various platforms, as Aisha Yusuf has reacted as Erufai claimed that Peter Obi got him arrested in 2013 when he visited the Nambra State as one of the officials on the APC. Now, Nigerian activist and co-founder of the Bring Back Our Girls movement has uh, taken to social media as well to react to the statement made by the governor of Kaduna State, Sir Nasa Erufai, claiming that Peter Obi got him arrested and detained him for 48 hours when he went to Anambra State in 2013 as uh, APC uh, officials. Based on this, while reacting to the statement, Aisha Yusuf pointed out that the SSX under the administration of Jonathan Goodluck arrested him, not Peter Obi. Okay, uh, Aisha made this clear as she posted the most recent message in her official Twitter handle according to her several years i kept insisting on speaking on the ssc of jonathan today they are trying to rope if of uh, ob it was a success on the jonathan that uh, detained uh, nasa erufai and not peter obi you see what nigerians are really trying to see is the truthfulness you know and someone who will clarify there are some things you will say against someone not knowing the right person that did it probably of course it was during the time when uh, governor uh, peter obi who was the governor in anambra state that uh, erufa visited he was actually arrested and was detained for 48 hours. As one of the officials, he came. Probably he never knew who made the order. But this time, Aisha Rousseau have taken it so clear that those things happened during Governor Peter Obi's tenure. But the order came from Jonathan. All right. Okay. Peter Obi also detained the, the allegation. Peter B denied the allegation, of course, pointing out that it was not responsible, that he was not responsible for the arrest. All right, my wonderful people, what more are we going to say? It is just to clarify the air. Uh, now that Peter B is glamouring for the office of the presidency and he's making his way to Kaduna, and then if I say, now I have this, I have this, I have that, that he's not going to do what... Uh, he claimed that Peter B did to him when he visited the number of state in the 2013. Well, it is very crystal, it is very clear now that Peter B denied the fact. It was allegation pointing out that he wasn't the one. And it can be testified based on what uh, Aisha Yusuf have said at this point. My wonderful people, uh, God will continue to bless uh, Aisha Yusuf for bringing it out. Meanwhile, Yes, it happened today, live in Kaduna. Today's headlines is Sakai Gumi, host to Peter Obi in Kaduna. <laughs> Government attack uh, Kalistal Church in, Ko, in, Ko, in Kogi. All right, all this happened just of recent. Gumi, host to Peter Obi in Kaduna. It was based at the Kaduna based the Islamic cleric Sakai Ahmed Gumi played the host to the presidential candidate and vice of Labour Party, Peter Obi, and the Atibaba are made at his residence in Kaduna on Monday. Kaduna based as Islamic and cleric made this known on Monday. The party presidential candidate on his Twitter handle also wrote Dr. Dati Baba Ahmed and I stopped by for a courtesy call and Sagai Gumi at his official residence in Kaduna. All right, on this matter, government attack a Kalistal Church in, in Kogi. Government attack a Kalistal Church in uh, Falile Quarters, Lokoja, Kogi State on Sunday. 
SP William Ove Aya of the police command in, in Kobiki confirmed the development on Monday. Meanwhile, Oveye Aya said the government invaded the Kalista Church, Blood of Jesus Parish, at uh, Felile Quarters around 8 p.m. That was on Sunday, an open fire on worshippers killing two people and injuring many others. There was a distressed call made to our command over the attack, which left two female worshippers dead and several others injured. Meanwhile, on getting the alerts, our command quickly deployed a response team to the area with a view to restoring normalcy in the area and arresting the perpetrators. All right, I will end by the tree in Kaduna, Atiku, right in the desk, okay, from office of uh, Kaduna, okay, from from Kaduna, uh, Atiku says, uh, uh, that is Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, of course, PTB, have vowed to survive the, the manufacturing industries in Kaduna as well as the end banditry which has plunged the Kaduna for years. Speaking at the presidential rally which took place at the Rochas Bees Stadium in Kaduna, the Waziri Adamawa thanked the people of Kaduna for giving him the highest number of votes in 2019 and vowed to take issues concerning Kaduna serious if the people vote in mass. And ensure he wins the 2023 elections. My wonderful people, that has been on to this matter. Ayotala was a newly elected local government chairman and councillor. Governor Bayaji Ayatola on Monday also sworn in. The newly elected chairman and the councillors of local government areas in the state. The local government executives were elected in a pool organized by Ocean State Independent and Natural Commission. Only to see this, only one political party, the All Progressive Congress APC, participated in the election conducted on Saturday, being 15th October. All right, that has been onto this, my wonderful people, Atiku, who have who are you deceiving okay why are you swearing on someone's manifesto bring the plans you have for nigeria if mistakenly you become our president you want to end the mandatory in kaduna you also want to you also want to revive dead industries in kaduna what happens to other states in nigeria you are not yet ready. You have been fighting for this uh, sake for as long as I can't even remember. Moving from one party to another, spending billions of uh, looted Naira. That is why you don't want to give up. Even when we have rejected you, you are forcing yourself on us. Mr. Tiku, you will never get the chance to lay your hands on our treasury, please go and sit, go and rest, go back to Dubai. Hmm. God, people get so many mouths here. Oh, Ijomo Kafo, thank you very much for your take. Yeah, that has been unto these people. Okay, you can send your comment innocently. There will be, there Peter will be. Please be careful on how you meet uh, some fool and a terrorist like Gumi and uh, Metiala. Hmm. Okay, thank you very much. You can now. Do, do, do you think our prayers are in vain? No way. God moves things in a mysterious way. My wonderful people, P2B, you are obviously desperate. Is this not the same Gumi you and your people tagged as terrorists? As terrorists now having political value? Or do you equally want to engage in the service terror organization to win election question please all right the truth remains that p2b according to what he says that he went to kaduna just to prison to greet and to you know uh, show some level of recognition 
that was why he went to Gome. Not really that he went officially. You know, when you visit a state, that's a place you will meet. You meet people. These are time to meet both good and bad. But the truth is, we need the good ones. And to discourage the bad one from doing bad. So, Peter B have not done anything wrong in this matter. As long as this news is concerned, remember that everyone has his or her own comment, his or her own take in this regard. And uh, people are saying they are confused and afraid. Uh, can you trust Obi or Tinubu? They want a person uh, that can play along with them. Okay, that is the matter we have been talking about. Uh, Obi is never confused. It's not what he's doing. But nowhere for anyone who is against God's chosen person. Obasanjo said he recovered billions from uh, Atiku. Okay, you are getting this uh, very, very right. My wonderful people, nothing more to say than to let you have your comment right at the comment section on this uh, matter. As it stands now, a lot of reactions and your own reaction. Your take is very paramount at this time. As Agai Gumi hosts Peter Obi in Kaduna and the government attack Kalistel Church in Kogi. That has been onto this matter, my wonderful people. Remember that uh, that Aisha Yusuf reacted over a revised statement saying that he was being arrested in 2013, right in Anambra State, where he came for an official visit in his room, Peter Obi. He claimed that Peter Obi invited and arrested got him arrested for 48 hours not knowing now that Aisha Yusuf had cleared the air saying that it's not P2B that arrested him brother it was Jonathan it was the kind time when Jonathan was on, also on set that now have me have your take my wonderful people on this matter remember to share and to subscribe thank you and remember that you are into bless be what news and entertainment thanks and god bless